Kami po ay nagbabalik dito sa Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference. Ito po ang laro sa pagitan ng Water Defenders at Perlas Spikers. As you can see, nanalo na naman ng set number 2 itong Water Defenders contra Perlas Spikers 25 to 22. Yes, mutual yung scores natin for the first Ginaya and second set. Ginaya lang yung first set. set. Pero dito tayo nagkaiba sa attacks. Labang pa rin talaga dito sa atake ang mga Water Defenders 17. For, for the Perlas Spikers, only 14. Service Aces naman, lumamang ngayon ang Water Defenders with 4. For the Perlas Spikers, 0 na alam natin. For nung first set, tatlo yung binigay na Service Aces ng Perlas Spikers. Pero sa unforced errors, as you can see, 7 ang unforced errors na binigay dito ng Water Defenders. Kaya naman nakadikit ang mga Perlas Spikers na Ang ganda, tatlo lang yung unforced errors na binigay dito ng mga Perla Spikers. Grabe talaga tong Water Defenders. You know, when we asked Coach Babes Castillo a while ago as well, tinanong namin kung ano yung trato niya. Diba? Siyempre mga bata to, but, but he said that he treats them as adults. And the only, siguro the only challenge lang is yung physicality, yung physicality. more of training them to, yes, like, to keep up with the older players of the other teams, but other than that, just treat them like adults, and it's working, definitely. Of course, Billy Capistrano once again with Alfred Valbuena, we are going on, going into our set number three. Tignan natin kung mananalo na nga itong War Defenders or babawe ang Perla Spikers. We will see what will happen. We will see Rosses soft touch. First point for the Perla Spikers here in set number three. For the Perla Spikers, all I can say is they really need to step their game up. Na hindi ganto laro nila eh. Hindi talaga. Yeah, nung first game nila against the Cool Smashers, ibang iba yung nila laro dito. Yun ang tunay na Perla Spikers. We gotta we wanna know what's going on here for this team. Pero Billy, pag-usapan muna natin dito yung mga top attackers for both teams. We have for the Water Defenders, we have Jay Johnson with 13 attack points already. And for the Perla Spiders, we have Montepilla with 8. And the setting, natin for both setters, for both of our teams. We have Kagande for the Water Defenders having 50% wow. success rate of set. I said 26 excellent sets, 52 attempts. Saktong sakto 50%. While for the Perla Spiker naman, si Emnas with 5, 7, and total of 20, 29 attempts, totaling 17%. While for Ferrer naman, he already had 6 excellent sets with 17 attempts, to um, averaging 35%. And we will read some of your tweets once again. This one is from Casey and the Dodge of the Six. Perla Spikers, kaya nyo yan, laban lang. Go, go, go. I love you, Perla Spikers. And pa-shout out mo kay Ate Ella. Love you, Ate Els. Mamaya sasabihin natin sa kanya. But another one here for from James on the score. Tumang magaling talaga ang mga NU girls. We can't deny that fact. You know, they are up two sets to none against a veteran team like the Perla Spikers. They must be very good. This one is from Bonnie Solis. Solomon here, but the rest of the Edu Babies, wow, future of volley, and we keep saying it, but they really are the future of Philippine volleyball. Kung makikita nyo nga, gumalaw ang mga batang to, parang mga veterans na talaga. Here's another one from Rosario Salon 1. Go Water Defenders, go Ate Mayla Pablo. Parang mali ata yung, yung team. Mamaya pa yung game ni Mayla. After this, the ba? Yeah, former. Former team, and that's what they no, 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 no. Baka NU. NU. Yeah, yeah. NU. This one is from Fendus for well. Three blockers go Johnson. Well, you know, Jay Johnson, that strength in that girl. Well, speaking of, just as she was serving, this one is from Edsel, DMNC, on the score seven. Bombahan of both teams at go. Water defenders. Got that right? The point for the water defenders. Ella din Jesus kasi hindi na balik si Jeff Peter. Pero alam ko yung intention doon ni Jeff. Eh. Gusto niya short ball lang sa front line lang ibabagsak yung bola. Usually pag ganun, bibigay sa setters area. Eh. Para hindi makapag-set or yung first receive. Galing set. 
Water Defenders offer. They are on fire in this game, especially here in the third set. 6-3 is our score as Jay Johnson will continue to serve for the girls in white. Perla Spikers need to wake up and they need to do so now. In order for that, kailangan talaga nila. Hanapin ang Polygon Dominis. Hanapin paano stop yung offensive side ng mga water defenders dito kasi hindi talaga nila mabase. Pagdating pala sa block, libre libre na palo ng mga water defenders. Sa floor defense, nagkakagulo sila. Communication, wala. And sobrang demoralized sila ngayon eh, nung pagkatalo na ng first set. Scrappy plays by the Perla Spikers, but the bright the ray of hope here for the Perla Spikers in this game. 4-7 on score, Rio Su Rosas serving for the Perla Spikers. Joy Mikagante, pupunta kay Princess Robles. And doon si Ella De Jesus, they will prepare and go to Jutarat Montrepilia. Mikagante to Matthews. We got a rally once again, back to Pia Bright, favorite spot. Wow, Jay Johnson was there, hinabol ang bola. Water Defenders as we go to our first technical timeout of set number three. Magbabalik po ang PPL on SNA Livestream. watching the PBL Reinforced Conference on SNA Livestream. Billy Capistrano with Alfred Balbuena. Game between the Water Defenders and the Perlas Spikers. Uh, mga hakatudin lang po. In the lead ang ating Water Defenders. Two sets to none. So this is the deciding the set. Okay. Yes. Let's talk about the stats for both teams coming off that first technical timeout. For the Water Defenders, they already have six attack points. One block point, no serve, no unforced error. Ang yung maganda, wala pang unforced error dito. For the Perla Spikers naman, we already have five attack points and one unforced error. So yun, yun. Nag-usapan nga natin yung timeout, before the timeout na. Grabe itong mga water defenders dito. Young squad, pero parang buo sila maglaro. At parang mga veterano. Kasi alam mo, sila na rin yung team since high school. Composed of their players, 14 champions, team. Alam mo yun, nandun na yung team chemistry nga eh. Alam mo yun, as a team na dun. Kaya yung laro nila ngayon, hindi bago eh. Tapos dinagdagan mo pa nga, like you said kanina, like mga imports na si Johnson and si Matthews. So who can also really help and lead the Water Defenders sa ata. And to adapt very well to the system of Coach Bates Castillo. But don't look now, the Brita Spikers are not giving up here in this third set. They are just down by one point. Bilis ng pangyayarin, di ba? Oo nga, nagkwento lang ako about the Brita Defenders. Bilang isa na lang. So talagang lumalaban ang ating Perla Spikers. Of course, with Kia Bright at the helm, here comes Jotarat Montrepilia. Walang nagawa na open pa si Jay Johnson. Kung Montrepilia coming live here. In the third set, we are now tied at eight, and this is exactly what the Perla Spikers need. Yeah. You know, that boost of energy, that momentum shift. At, you know, sana ituloy tuloy na rin nila. Mukhang maganda yung first technical time on that video for the Ano kaya si Dami Coach Do? Yeah. Belen. Jem Ferrer, pipiliin si Jorat Montrepilia. This rally. Right now, but Jay Johnson with that power hit. Nakalabang na naman ng water defenders. They take the lead 9-8. Galing din ni ng setter dito na si Kagande ng water defenders. Alam niya, kailangan nila pumuntos. Kaya pinuntahan niya, hihanap na dito si Johnson. Kahit nasa back row siya, si Setan pa rin niya. So ngayon, she already has 31 excellent sets. Grabe itong batang ko. Hindi natin kung higilan pa na yung 41 
seven sets na yung last game against the Tacloban, fighting a rise. Ten na lang. And to an Seems very doable. 16 points Especially pa. if you're Joy Picagante. Oh. Joy Tafron serving for the Perla Spikers. They tied this game at 9-all. Cena. There's the right. That's the line for our import. She wants to win this game and we can see it in her face. Ivy Taxina. Babalik naman si Rose Doria. And here is a tweet from underscore Charlie25. Live stream is live. Go for the Spikers. Bawi tayo. Let's make it a five setter match. Hi, Piggy. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Let's see if the Perla Spikers will do just that. And here's another one from Casey Edmund Dawson 06. But ang ganda mo si Go Idol kaya kaya pa yan. Tawala lang. Siyempre maganda na kayo si Piggy. Hindi lang maganda. Talent din pa. Diba? Anchor and analyst na nga. Volleyball player pa. Beach volleyball pa. Yes. Here comes Belen serving. Kalo sa pag-serve to Tarat na Trekilia down the line. The point. Spikers, we are raring to go here in our third set. Oh boy, the boy. Yeah, no, just for the Perla Spikers. Yeah, no, 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 no, just Kita mo on that last score for the Perla Spikers. Isa lang blocker dahil sa patong na play. Na din lang din niya yung mga blockers ng water defenders. Na kailangan, na kailangan pa nila para in order for them to survive. And that was a service error. Part of the water defenders, Perla Spikers at 12. Water defenders at 11. Jotarat Montrepillo with 11. Now, matake naman doon and I see Alexis Taller imports sa uh, water defenders. Maganda dito ginagawa ni Ika. Talagang ginapagana na dito yung mga middle block sa offense. Kasi alam natin, one-on-one -on -one lang yan eh, when it comes to middle block, middle blocker. Kasi most of the blockers for the uh, water for the spikers, nakaabang na sa main spikers. Kita mo, si Johnson na dito sa so, wing spikers. So talagang babatay na. Kaya hindi nila in-expect or binibigyan ng least priority dito si Matthews when it comes to offense. So, uh, join me Kagande, veteran center moves for our young girl, Yesu Rosses, which she does so well. Pero buhay pa rin ang bola, and Yerma will send it to the other side. Here we go, here we go. Jeff Ferrer, and back to Kia Bright. And of course, your favorite spot, Kia Bright. Favorite cross-court hit. Where the Spikers tie this game once again. Lots of deadlocks here in our third set. Alfred just goes to show how kind of the Manalorin in the Perla Spikers gana si the Lumalaban. Usually, after second technical timeout, na dito lumala yung mga water defenders. So, uh, early part of the set, dun mo na rin ang ginagama yung alam mo na binabasa yung mga plays. Pero after that second, second technical timeout, parang may binibigay siguro dito yung mga tips or mga tactics na kung paano nila lalamangan ng malaki ang mga Perla Spikers dito. Kasi ito yung water defenders. Lahat sila kayang dumipensa, umupensa, mag-serve. Kaya talagang 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 sila. Jay Johnson, Pakia Bright, was there at the right time. And here comes Jay Johnson once again. Mababa at nagpunta dito sa Perla Spikers. Alfred. Kaya ngayon, gustong mag-regroup dito ni Coach Babes na before that second technical timeout. Oo nga eh, hindi na pinatuloy yung momento. So ito nga si Coach Babes called a timeout for her, for his squad rather para ma-infigil yung momentum shift ng Perla sa Spikers. At balik naman tayo sa Twitter para magbasa ng inyong mga tweets. This one is from John Apeledo once again. Water defenders are on fire. That's right, but you know, the Perla Spikers are coming big here. Coming out big here in the third set. So let's not discount this team just yet. Matagal pa ang darug na ito. Of course, score now 15-13. 
sa mga kakatoon in lang sa amin. Bini ka pa sana pa with Alfred Valbuena. Water defenders contra Perla Spikers with the water defenders in the lead. Two sets to none. Kagande to Alexis Matthews. Saved by Jutarat Montrepilla. Jen Ferrer to the other side. Free ball now. Kagande to Alexis Matthews. Next sabi matchup. Pia Bright. Live here in the third set as we go to our second technical timeout of set number three. Magbabalik po ang PBL on SNA live stream. and you're still watching the PBL Reinforced Conference dito lamang sa SNA Livestream. Billy Capistrano with Alfred Balbuena. Ito po ang laro sa pagitan ng Water Defenders at ng Perla Spikers. Water Defenders in the lead. Two sets to none, pero right here in the third set, leading na po ang Perla Spikers by three points. 16 to 13. And the most, I think, that they've led here in this match. So, tignan natin kung itutuloy-tuloy mukhang mabunta na nga doon. Pero ayaw na yung patiyan, syempre. 17-13 ang score as Amy Ahubir prepares to serve for the girls in black. For the water defenders dito, nagpalit ng setter. Ginawa ang setter si Dulat para mapasok si Nesperos. Ayon na sino ilagay mo dito ng setter for the water defenders. Effective, pare. So effective for Coach Pinks. That's how bonded the team is, and it's on how on point the chemistry is. And Jay Johnson will be serving, and she's also the star of our star camp. The bright favorite spot. Jay Johnson saves that one. Here comes Michaela Belen, and then who saves it? We have Rosas. Nakalusot. The power of the water defenders. It was a nice. Set or decision done coming from Jim Fair na ibigay yung bola kay Kuya. Alam natin, nagkahagulo sa defense dito sa blocking ng other defenders. Saka abang na sa name court eh. Once again, some fresh legs here for the Perla Spikers. Papay na si Kuya Rosas and Jim Ferrer. Papasok naman, Ben M. Nas serving now and si Ipervasho. Ginawa dito ni Coach Dong na so let's see if they're going to shake it up a little bit para makonfuse ang blockers ng water defenders. But the point will go here for the water defenders as Alexis Matthews serves Fen Imnas, PPD, and CC Hervasho. Doon si Micaela Belen, back to her. Great defense by Chutarat Montrepilla. They go to see her bash with that is a free ball. And the point here for the Perla Spikers. Point here for the Perla Spikers. Ang kanilang daman po. Daman contra water defenders. Up by four points. Nakita po si Johnson ng water defenders. Hindi lang offense talaga. But defense ko nakita po. All around player left here. Ito yung hulog na yun. Sa kanya pa rin yung bola eh. Pero ang layo niya sa defense, nakuha pa rin yun. Yung dedicated talaga sa bola. And great blocking on the part of the Perla Spikers. And here comes Coach Bates. Pulling a timeout for his young squad. Perla Spikers still in the lead. 5 points, 20 to 15. They need to save themselves here in the third set. Kung ayaw na lang mamanalo ito. Water Defenders as we go to Twitter to read some of your tweets. Of course, favorite namin yung gawin. This one is from Selena Nusper Amancho. Go Water Defenders. Ganda ng floor defense. Pasok na si Ate Faith Nusperos. Well, she did see action a while ago. But of course, recovering from an injury right now. And here she goes. Faith Nusperos playing for the Water Defenders right now. Just been some Charlie Iba rin yung mga sense ni Joy Kagande para yung nakakahiyang hindi mapatay yung bola na ma-maximize yung spikers. Tama ka dyan, hindi na pa namin sasabi na sarap siguro maging center ng team itong si Joy Kagande kung ikaw nga yung spiker. 
this one is a volley pure. I'm running out of superlatives to describe Johnson. Mapa offense and defense, maasahan. And that's exactly what Alfred said. You know, she's an all around player. Is that a Yep. Oh, Storia. Oh, just a few there coming from Storia. For at least few there, kind of. Mom Daisy, nakita ko. Hi daw kay Mom Daisy na full support sa water defenders. And don't look now, itong Perla Spikers, four points away from winning set number three. Come from behind. Ben M. Nas, back set. KC Hervasho, galit na galit. Great defense by the water defenders. Hindi na kayanan. Ben M. Nas, ang palo. Ni Faithless Peros. Papakita ng gila sa dito for the water defenders. Miss Ata magdaro. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yung, alam ko rin yung feeling yeah. na yun eh. Na galing kang Adri, tapos gusto, gusto mo na maglaro. Parang gigil, gigil ka na maglaro, di ba? Yeah, ganyan And, sa akin. We wait to be effective naman si Faith Desperos. And she will be the one serving here for the water defenders. Pero baka magpapahinga ulit si Faith at papasok si Joy Migagante at si Alaysa Sulamon para kay Rika Jolan. Para sa front line, three spiker lineup dito ulit for Coach Babes. Kasi gusto niya talaga ma-maximize lahat ng spikers na alam natin. Nag-hahabla sila dito, they're down by five. So, he really wants a lot of plays na magigay ng Tagan. They need to work on their offense. Lutarat contra Villa. John Tagande. Fen M na, Sela de Jesus, Saki Dolan, Montre Villa. But, it was strong. Maganda nga, from this angle, mukhang papasok eh. Kita-kita mo eh, yung wrist action niya, diretso eh. Kaso nga lang. Form was great, di lang na natipla ng maayos ni... Power na lakas. Di lang natipla maayos ni Chutarat Montrepilla. Cost them that point. But the Perla Spikers are still currently in the lead. Here, the third set. Patapos na ang ating third set. Tignan natin kung... Papahungan ito ng Perla Spikers. Ang damang nila at set na ito. Amy Almiro, let us join the Coron to focus. You know, join the Coron is the highest leading local scorer on their last game with six points. Mababang output na yun for the local. Here, Vasho, pupunta. Kikia Bright, Joy Micaganda, to Micaela Belen. Nandoon si Ella de Jesus and Fen M. Nas. Punta kay Jutra Contrepilla. Getting a little bit frustrated. A lot is good here for the water defenders. They're certainly 21-18, pero wag na wag kung bibigyan ng opportunity to get those water defenders para makahabot because they will really capitalize on that. Joy Micaganda is serving now. Trepilia, pupunta kay Fen M. Nas. Back sa KC, her Vasho! Like that one. Nangat talaga. Puntahan mo na dito yung mga persyento. Yung itawag yung persyento. Persyentong spiker. Or saan pwedeng pumuntos ng 100%. For the Perla Spikers na di nga nakapuntos doon si Montrepilia. Punta naman dito si M. Nas kay Zier Vasho. Which scored for the Perla Spikers. And here comes a fresh face in our game, Amanda Villanueva, crowd favorite, serving. Jay Johnson to John Gagande, Rose Doria, great defense by the Perla Spikers. Another error there on the part of the Perla Spikers, costly error for them. They have to do that because usually, when they do that, the chance ball is almost the one that you have to give. You have to give the ball. You have to give the ball. You have to give the ball. Right, dito yung bola sa net niya, hindi na habol ni Ednas. So, better decision making here for the Perla Spikers. See her Vasha blocked by Rose Doria Montrepilla. Who will go to Amy Ahumira. Chance ball for the water defenders. Kagande. Yeah, down the line for the tallest player here on the court. Yes, that press play coming from Solomon. Uh, which really is effective for the water defenders. Na kanina pa sila nakapunta si Don kasi like what I said kanina, kinabantayan dito ng mga Perla Spikers si Johnson. 
Hindi na nababantayan yung mga local players. Pagkano to Che Johnson, Kia Bright was there. Jotarat Montrepina sa clutch. Tutok na tutok itong Warren Defenders. Fed Mnas to Amy Ahumira Sonal over him. Great pancake save by Cagande. Fed Mnas Montrepina once again. Ayara Dinierba, finally a point here for the Perla Spikers. Did I correct myself? That was Alaysa Solomon, not I.D. Taksini. Who is? Tallest player in the court. Let's go, Takancha. Hey, Bright. Are almost a step. Mama, yah, don't get nasty. Jen Ferrer serving. Join Kagande. Jay Johnson. The opening. The famous down the line hit. You know, asahan natin puro down the line papalo ng dito na mga water defenders kasi yun dun sila na kasakop tani na yung balak nito na. The Spikers tried to do the antenna, so it's just a little bit of a down there. And, as you were saying, that was the error for the Rose Doria service error. And the Stoprita Spikers finally set point here in the third set. A chance to really steal set number three from the water defenders. Montrepilla. Kagande punta kay Alex Matthews. Great save there by Bujutarat. Almost, but not quite. Buhay pa rin itong water defender is down by two points, Alfred. Pero dalawa namang six-footer ang nasa harapan mo si Matthew at si Lemon. So it is crunch time here in our game at umiingay na ang ating Phil Oil Flying B Center. We got Alisa Solomon preparing to serve for the water defenders. That will cost them this set. From the water defenders, 25 to 22, pa rin ang score natin, Alfred. And magbabalik po ang Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference. Dito lamang po sa SNA live stream.